American Pit Bull versus Turkish Kangal. Who would win a fight between these two dogs? American Pit Bull and Turkish Kangal are some of the most well-known dogs when it comes to guarding and protection. If these two dogs are so tough, who would come out the winner? First of all, before I start the video, I want to tell you that I do not support and don't agree with the real fights between dogs. This video represents a hypothetical struggle to find out which dog breed is stronger. The American Pit Bull Terrier is a family and companion dog. Originally bred to bait bulls, the breed evolved into all-around farm dogs and then became nanny dogs because of their gentle nature around children. Even though these are purebred dogs, they may end up in shelters or rescue organizations. Don't forget to adopt. If you want to bring a dog home, don't go to buy one. The Kangal dog is a large and powerful ancient livestock guardian originally from the Sivas region in Turkey. This dog has been selectively bred over hundreds of years, primarily as a Turkish shepherd, a guardian dog based on their size, strength, temperament, and appearance. This guardian is a large and formidable working dog. What do they look like? The pit bull has a low center of gravity and appears slightly longer than tall. The muscles of the neck and head are especially well developed. The ears might be cropped or uncropped, and the eyes are small. This dog is heavy for its size, weighing about 55 to 70 pounds, 25 to 32 kilograms. He stands between 17 and 19 inches, 43 to 48 centimeters. The coat is short and sleek. Any color is acceptable, although coats with more than 80% either white, black and tan or liver are least preferred. The legs are strong boned, but this feature should not be overly exaggerated and take away from the dog's overall balanced appearance. Their tails are straight with an upward bend, but never corkscrewed. They are wider at the base and taper at the tip. The Kangal dog is a huge, robust, heavy-boned dog whose size and proportions have naturally developed as a result of its continued use as a predator guardian in Turkey. A Kangal dog with ideal proportions is somewhat longer than tall, with the front leg length equaling slightly more than half of the dog's height. The curled tail completes the distinctive silhouette. The double coat of the Kangal dog is moderately short and dense. The Kangal dog has a black mask and black velvety ears that contrast with a light dun to grey body colour. Honourable scars or other evidence of injury resulting from working in the field are not to be penalised. Males stand an impressive 29 to 32 inches, 74 to 81 centimetres tall at the withers. Though the breed standard does not specify an ideal weight, males generally weigh approximately 136 to 176 pounds, 62 to 80 kilograms. History and origin. This breed's history is somewhat tragic. They were first used as fighting dogs in the early 19th century in the United Kingdom, engaged against adversaries such as bears, bear baiting and bulls, bull baiting. In 1835, when blood sports were banned, pit bulls were used instead for fighting other dogs, as catch dogs trained to hunt and catch semi-wild prey, to drive livestock or as family companions. Because of the pit bull's bloody history, this dog type has a tricky reputation. In the United States, pit bulls are still used in illegal dog fights or as violent guard dogs for criminal enterprises. Once upon a time, farmers from the Kangal district of Sivas province in Turkey faced a huge problem. The constant impending danger their livestock faced from top-tier predators, such as wolves and bears, was reducing the number of their flocks. They needed a hero, someone who possessed incredible strength, agility, and intelligence. 
But where would they find such a candidate to face a big hungry bear? That's when the Kangal Sheepdog made its debut as the prized shepherd dog of the Aga of Kangal. The Kangal's amazing strength was used to protect the flocks. Word of the Kangal's defensive skills spread, prompting other villagers to breed their own. The Kangal dog has long been heralded as an icon of the Turks, treasured as the national dog. Its muscular body adorns Turkish stamps and coins, and breeding kennels are held in the highest esteem, maintaining immaculate pedigrees. Temperament Pitbulls love people and have no idea that their size is something of a deterrent to being a lapdog. Confident and keenly aware of their surroundings, they are watching in that they may alert you to the presence of strangers, but that's primarily because they are eager to greet their guests. While their love of people makes them failures as guard dogs, their courage is unmatched and they will defend their family with their lives. When they are young, American Pit Bull Terriers, like all dogs, require early socialization. Exposure to a variety of people, sights, sounds and experiences. Socialization guarantees that your puppy grows into a well-rounded adult dog. A well-adjusted Kangal is a calm and even-tempered dog. As a guardian, it must be gentle and difficult to irritate, therefore it gets along well with youngsters and other pets. It must be understood, however, that it was never meant to be mollycoddled, and owners must not make the mistake of being too indulgent with such a massive and robust breed with a strong independent streak. If a Kangal senses the owner's lack of confidence or assertiveness, it is likely to seek out the role of alpha dog for itself, making it difficult to control. Being firm and consistent, even from puppyhood, will let the dog know that it must abide by the owner's rules. Although great guard dogs, most Kangals will readily accept strangers once they are introduced, but socialization is vital to avoid behavioral problems, such as territorial aggression. Now let's find out, in a one-on-one -on -one fight between a pit bull and a Kangal, who would win? Pit bulls are strong and active dogs. Their jaws are quite robust and their heads are brick-shaped. Although the pit bull's bite force is not the strongest, it is nevertheless quite easy to break bones. The most important thing is that their persistent bite makes many dogs very embarrassed. Once bitten by it, it is almost impossible to let go. At the same time, the pit bull has a silly smile and a confident posture and can fight to the death. Pit bulls don't feel pain because they produce so much testosterone during fights, so even if they're bitten, they'll keep fighting. The Kangal is also regarded as the world's strongest dog and is frequently ranked among the top fighting canines of all kinds. However, the result of this battle would be determined by the particular dogs involved. With almost 700 PSI, Kangals have the strongest bite force of any dog breed on the planet. The pit bull is about 250 PSI. Kangals are larger and thus stronger, so even if a pit bull was a game breed, the Kangal would win. Pit bulls, contrary to popular belief, do not have very strong jaws, although they can do injury by biting frequently rather than once and hard. Some Americans underestimate Kangals, maybe they just are unaware of the nature of dogs. But Anatolian dogs are famous all over the world. They even chase cheetahs and wolves. How does a dog defeat another dog? It chokes it. So the size of their mouths and necks will matter in this conflict. Turkish dogs have large jaws and can finish their job quickly. Kangals are among the world's most aggressive and powerful dogs. Kangal wins almost 100% of the time. They are about twice the size and strength of a pit bull and seem to be a few steps ahead of not just pit bulls, but almost every other dog. That's all for today. 
Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.